Hey everyone, and welcome to part 2 of Secrets and Cheats of Club Penguin Rewritten. So, a few months ago, I did part 1, and uh, I received a lot of really good feedback from that video, a lot of people enjoyed it. And uh, on that video, I show you a lot of secrets and cheats that you can do around the island. If you haven't seen it yet, I will leave the link for that video in the description down below and at the end of this video, so I highly recommend you check it out, it is really good. So yeah, welcome to part 2, where I show you even more secrets, cheats and codes that you can do here on CPR. So if at any point you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, uh, consider leaving it a like, it is very much appreciated, it helps a lot the channel and also subscribe so we can reach 5000 subscribers. So yeah, with that being said, enjoy the video everybody! On the Teen Ice minigame, on level 19, you can actually go through this wall over here and if you make your way all the way down and press this button right over here, you will then earn the Ice Treasure Stamp. And now you can collect every single coin bag that you can see if you have melted every single ice style and collected every single coin bag on the previous levels. And after you collect every single coin bag, you'll then get the all coin bag stamp. And uh, yeah, pretty cool secret. On the Astro Barrier minigame, on this screen over here, if you press 1 on your keyboard, you can go straight to level 10. If you press 2, you go to level 20. And if you press 3, you go to level 30. Before level 11 starts, if you wait 30 seconds, a blue spaceship will appear and if you shoot at it, you will unlock the secret levels. There is 10 secret levels and if you complete all of them, you will be rewarded with the Astro Secret Stamp. Also, before level 31st starts, if you wait 30 seconds, another blue ship will appear and if you destroy it, you will start the secret expert levels. And just like the previous one, if you complete all 10 of the secret expert levels, you will get rewarded with the Astro Expert Stamp and alongside with it the Astro Master Stamp. Now to get the Astro Master Stamp, you will have to complete 25 levels plus the secret and expert level. Here at the mine, you can find the Card Surfer minigame and you can play between the normal mode or the hardcore mode and you can also find the leaderboards. Now, as you can see on the leaderboards, these are all the players who played Hardcore mode and currently TFC over here has 625,000 points. Uh, but if you manage to place number one here on the leaderboards uh, by playing Hardcore mode, that uh, by the way will take you like between 30 to 40 minutes of constantly playing and if you manage to place number one, you will be able to receive the Card Surfer Medal Pin, which is a very hard pin to, to get here on Club Penguin Written. And not only you will receive that very special Medal Pin, but you will also get this very special Card Surfer Leaderboards postcard, that uh, as you can see is pretty much made out of gold. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little secret here on the game. On the Aqua Grabber minigame, if you are very lucky, uh, you can actually spot the giant squid, which is like a secret easter egg. And you can also get the squid spotter stamp. So yeah, it's definitely pretty cool to see like a giant sea monster on Clopping Raton. So if you didn't know, yeah, there it is. Back in 2018, there was actually a leaderboard for the sled racing minigame. That was only available from September 2, 2018 until December 10th, 2018. And if you manage to rank number one on the sled racing leaderboard, you could earn this very special sled racing medal pin that only very few penguins own. On the Soda Seas level, you could find the cave on the left side. And if you use your aqua grabber to ram the ceiling of the cave, you could actually make a little worm fall from there. And you could put that worm into the net and get the get the worm stamp. But if you use that worm, to capture the little fluffy and if you use that fluffy to try and capture the mullet and if somehow you manage to put the mullet into the net you would get the mullet capture and if you go to the place where the mullet was and go down you would find 
the treasure of the aqua grabber game. But if you let the little crab get every single coin, then that crab would give you an emerald, which is worth it 500 coins. Where the moat is located, if you ram the top part of the tunnel, you can actually go past the moat without even going through all that process from the last clip where you have to catch the worm and get the fluffy and get the moat out of there. So after you do this glitch and go to the other side of the tunnel, you can actually go down this little entrance and find the treasure of the game. And if you are good enough and manage to catch every single coin before the crab does, you'll then earn the crab's treasure stamp, which is actually pretty difficult to earn. So if you manage to get it, well done. Now this next item that I'm going to talk about, many of you probably have heard about it before, and it is the green viking helmet. That's right, this very rare item can only be obtained if you become penguin of the week on the What's New blog, and it was available from February 26, 2017, and it is currently still available for grabs. Now the way you can become a penguin of the week is simply just by playing Club Penguin Rayton. On the ice fishing minigame, if you get to the end of the game, you'll then be able to see the mullet, which is the big red fish. And if you catch it, you'll then earn a 100 coin bonus. But uh, there is a 1% chance that instead of the normal mullet appear, the rare mullet, which is uh, known as the grey mullet, will appear. And if it is your very first time seeing the rare mullet, you will then earn the rare mullet stamp, which is one of the three incentive stamps on flopping written. And uh, it literally just depends on you being very lucky to catch the rare mullet. And uh, I personally was very lucky to catch it. And uh, here's my reaction. Alright, here it comes everybody, here it comes. Oh my god, I actually got it, I got it, I got it, the rare mullet, oh my god, finally. <laughs> this was the first game of the day. Oh my freak, oh my god. <laughs> finally. <laughs> if you didn't know, there are a few codes that are always available on Clopping Rayton. And those codes give you pretty cool items in game. So everything you have to do is click where it says I have a code and now you have to write down free hood and click done. And there you go, congratulations, we just got a free hoodie. Let's go to the next code. So now uh, write the same thing, free hood and now put a 2 in front of it and click done. And there it is, another free hoodie, this time it's green. Alright, now to the third code, uh, you write down online safety. Just like this, click done, and you got a free laptop. Pretty cool. Now, uh, go again to I have a code, and uh, write down card deck. Click done, and you managed to unlock five different power cards for you to use on card jitsu really cool and i have one last code i saved the best for last uh, you write down hidden puffle click done and you unlock the puffle whistle and with this whistle you can call flare which is a very special elite puffle so that is it for this video everybody i really hope you all enjoyed all the secrets the cheats and the codes that I showed you and if you did make sure you hit that like button it is very much appreciated share the video with other people so they can also know about these really cool secrets and last but not least make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my future uploads alright everybody I'll see you all in the next one bye